Hi there. In this video I'm going to assemble and install this God Morgon. I hope I pronounce at least somewhat correct. Um, storage, tall, cabinet, whatever you want to call it, from IKEA. It comes in uh, two packs and we are starting with one or at least that would seem logical. So let's open this up and see how we can start to work on it. And inside box number one we have uh, the main uh, things to put this together. The sides of it, back of it and three glass shelves and yes a lot of uh, uh, cardboard packing which I already thrown away to keep everything nice and tight. Yeah, a piece remains so I need to throw this also away. Uh, so yeah, let's get into the instructions and see how to assemble these things. As far as I can see, they are identical, so it doesn't matter which one of them you put on the right and which one on the left. And this is the list with everything that we have. And when we go here, this we have in here and in there, so we are okay for number one. For number two we are still okay with this first package, but for Three, step number three, we already need to go into package number two. So I, I will be opening that one also because we need top and bottom to attach to left and right. Or actually this is left and this is right, I think. Anyway. Behind door number two, we have top and bottom. That might be for the middle, a shelf and uh, two other shelves and underneath we have the front door and uh, in theory mm, that's about it at this point I'm going to do one two and three four to have all of this uh, ready and yes this is what you need to assemble this flathead Phillips pencil uh, level ruler and a, a, a drill uh, machine I cannot remember for the moment exactly how it's called in English. Presumably we will be drilling some holes somewhere. Yeah. And now this that we have four, we use for these two brackets. Next I will install eight of these. So basically uh, two at each end of these long boards. And yeah, this is not paint, uh, this is just a plastic wrap on top of the, the wood fibers. Uh, as you can see here, it does tend to lift just a tiny bit while screwing these things in, but when you finish tightening them, it pulls it right uh, back in place. So hopefully this will be uh, resistant to, to humidity, at least I'm expecting these things being sold for a, a bathroom. Also prepared uh, wooden, I think, dowels they are called, that will go into these holes when I put this in. Make sure that this edge is aligned with the edge on this. And uh, then into these holes we put these things right in the middle and tighten them. And obviously that one will go up top. And yes, always assemble onto something a carpet or anything but not directly onto your floors because you could scratch this and it would look bad. And something they don't tell you is that you actually might need a, a little hammer for uh, those wood pieces. Uh, yes, a rubber one, a bigger rubber one would be ideal. I don't have one so I use this tiny uh, hammer. And for these things you put them in normally with this arrow right in the middle, uh, down and rotate them and in theory when the arrow is pointing up it's tight, when it's in the opposite direction from the main piece. Installed also that thing right there in the middle which is similar to this apart from the fact that it doesn't have the wood pins, it only has the metal uh, 
retainers uh, putting the wood pins in here and in the top uh, now I need to slide that thing down into uh, this channel all around and then in theory we come with this on top and put uh, the metal retainers in each of these holes and tighten them and we have the finished frame this is in place uh, with the white on the interior but if you like better to have uh, a gray interior for this thing basically you can use this for the inside it, that's a personal preference honestly for me yeah, doesn't really matter but some might like that the touch of uh, of gray at the back of uh, this thing on the inside obviously on the outside who cares it's against the wall so now let me put this in position on top of everything put those little things in place and now I will be putting this in the corners with these screws right here in the middle and just a weird thing look at their colors camera focus probably they uh, came from different manufacturers so one is I don't know chromed or something like that and the other is zinc plated anyway interesting but doesn't affect the performance at all they are the same in uh, performance wise don't know what will be your situation but for me these things needed hammering to get into position I didn't want to rely on the screws themselves pulling them because there's a risk the screws cannot pull them and the thread will get uh, uh, stripped inside of this wood finished everything up to step 12 now I'm going to go install the rail on the wall and this depends on your personal preference uh, because my wife is short I will probably install this a bit lower uh, to help her reach even in higher places inside of it and yes you use your own uh, screws depending on what type of wall you have and uh, they give you these uh, washers rectangular ones I'm not sure if uh, I will be able to use them I might use uh, screws that have a bigger diameter because my wall is uh, a brick with holes inside yeah for a better thermal efficiency but for hanging stuff on it not that great so I need to use bigger screws then for the lower holes you need to put in the plastic spacers you have two black plastic spacers and you insert them into this thing in those two holes right there at the end and uh, yeah then you can go and click this onto the wall and in theory uh, hope for the best so let me do all of that now marked this thing on the wall uh, made sure it's straight marked the holes uh, drilled them through the tile porcelain tile with this diamond tipped uh, drill rest of it with this and these things are already in and this will hold it uh, in place okay so put this thing on the wall and through those holes remember to put these things in place so they are spacers so you don't over tighten this onto the wall through those holes I marked uh, there and there and again drilling team comes in this one is already tightened in place now tightening this one and uh, yeah I didn't use this uh, up top because I used screws that were too big for this particular hole so <clears throat> yeah I recommend you use them but I couldn't and uh, after that I will just put the covers the covers simply clip in place as you can see one clip on one side one on another and they clip in here uh, up top and in the bottom right there so it's uh, 
yeah just a matter of positioning them right and pushing pushing actually them in place which is really hard to do with one hand so be back job done let's continue with the rest and we are done with all of this and i found out what was with the drill if you have two of these cabinets and you actually join them together uh, i don't so skipping this going to this page where uh, we decide where we want the door and you have two variants to open like this or like this and i will open it like this and uh, that gives me <coughs> Uh, this variant right here number 22 so let's get to it and yes it seems that on the door you actually install them uh, no matter what because it doesn't have a top or a bottom so it matters only when you actually install these things onto the cabinet itself the frame tighten the hinges in place top one and bottom one are the ones with the grey plastic, so they are uh, soft close. Middle one is just a plain hinge. Those parts, from what I see, are identical, so doesn't matter which goes where. And it's in place. I adjusted all the hinges. Let me give you a quick explanation. Uh, if you need the door to be more like this, so to, to be closer to the frame you adjust from this screw you loosen it up and then push uh, this if you need it to be adjusted on the height you adjust from these two screws and if you need it to be adjusted like this from this single screw right here so yeah and we are done for the moment soft close and phone will focus on whatever it wants let's try that again soft close kind of sort of anyway uh, at this point let me put on the handle somewhere tighten the handle screws and now we also have a handle started to put in the pins and the shelves and now I will put the ones for the, the glass shelves. I have no idea exactly at what level I want them at the moment. Uh, it's a trial and error and as you could see these pins you just put in by hand. Phone, please focus. Nah, doesn't want to focus on what I want, whatever. So then you can move them, you have many many positions to choose from. So let me attempt to find my best configuration. Now remove the scratch uh, film, scratch protection film from the glass and put the glass shelves in place. And yes, the glass shelves are on the top part. Uh, yeah, you can put them at the bottom if you want, but you normally put them in here, I think, because you can see, uh, even if you are shorter, you can see everything that's on uh, in there, uh, just from a glance. Lower, it's much easier to see. Higher transparent you can see better or you just put uh, lower weight products in here and heavier weight products in here uh, yeah <laughs> both of these explanation i think work and the glass shelves are also in place and yes obviously the edges are uh, filed down so and rounded so you, it's impossible to cut yourself and the fact that they stay on these uh, metal pins that have silicone protection on them makes the glass a little bit stickier so when you have some weight on it it will not come out easily and yes uh, that's about it this thing is looking good and the quality seems to be quite okay everything went together as expected honestly so that's perfect <laughs>